So I just want to point out a couple of the troublesome weeds that we're facing here on the black belt soil. In this particular pasture, we get a lot of the woody brush species like our blackberries and dewberries. This is of the rubus species. Uh, compared to McCartney rose, they tend to have bigger leaves. They stand out. You'll see them along fence lines and also out in the middle of the pasture in big mounds. Um, compared to McCartney rose, this is McCartney rose here and you can see the fruit on it uh, is pretty noticeable. Just single fruit at the end and along the stems with multiple thorns along the stems uh, and out on each node. You can see how small the leaves are. So until it gets in a big mound, a lot of times as these things come, come up from a single stem, if your grass is growing really well, they may not be noticed until it's you know a, a really big uh, mound out here. But nonetheless, it cuts out our forage potential and encroaches on some of our better grasses. I'd also like to point out a really bad one that we see, especially in the southern part of the state, the Chinese tallow tree. Um, if let uh, alone to escape, this can grow into a full-size tree and make many fruit uh, that's dispersed by birds. Uh, another one that's pretty typical on, on the Black Belt Prairie region is marsh elder or sumpweed. Uh, it's Iva annua. This time of the year, um, it looks like it may be controlled really well by some of our broadleaf herbicides, but as it gets further into the growing season, these leaves become really tough and they've got stiff hairs along the leaf surface and the stems that keep uh, a lot of our herbicides that we broadcast over the top from getting into the plant and working like it, like it should.